today in this short tutorial we are going to see how to quickly sync your vocals or acapella to your project BPM on FL Studio. So I have my FL Studio open here. I'm just gonna load the track itself, which is an acapella by Barbara Tucker, Most Precious Love. It is known to be 126 BPM. Uh, the project itself is 124, so we are looking here to sync them. So first let's have a listen before seeking. Oh, precious, precious love. Oh, precious. You see already at the fifth bar, there is a slight um, lack of synchronization between the a cappella and the project itself. And that's due to the fact that there is a two BPM difference between the two. So what we have to do is simply go to the top left corner of the uh, audio sample click to fit to tempo and then here you have to be careful the amount of BPM that you need to put is the BPM of the actual a cappella. it's not the BPM of the project it's not the BPM of anything else but it's the BPM of the actual a cappella, which here I know it's 126 BPM so I'm just gonna type in 126 FL Studio will uh, stretch the a cappella to make it 126 and then if we run it again oh, precious, precious love. Oh, pre it's perfectly in sync precious love. so here i know the bpm of the song but if you don't there are many ways you can find out first one is going to google and then type in bpm with the name of the song so that's most Precious love. We get here from the port, it's 126 BPM, which is the amount that we were looking for. Or you can find it yourself by ear by using the uh, tap tool of FL Studio. You right click on this BPM number here, and then you click on tap, and then you just tap whenever you feel that there is a beat. So that's it, guys. Uh, I have 126 here, as expected. And that allows me to uh, have the exact synchronization between my a cappella and my uh, project. We can see how this sounds like uh, with uh, some drums. So let's put a few beats. And then we can put some claps. Here, here, here. maybe hi hats from here. One here, one here, here. Let's have a listen. Oh, precious, precious love. One last thing to bear in mind sometimes when you load an audio sample or some a cappella into your project, you might find out that it's actually synced automatically, and that's due to uh, this following reason here. So, if you go to tools, to options and then to general settings if you see this line here checked read sample tempo information that means that it will read the tempo information from the metadata of the song and if it finds it it will automatically apply it here in this case i don't think i have any metadata information on my uh, acapella and we can find it by going to edison to edit sample and then you can see here that the tempo uh, box is empty and so that's why uh, it did not sync automatically but if you have it already there and that box is ticked on the audio settings then the syncing will be done automatically so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this video and see you on the next one